Let me call to order the City Commission second budget hearing, September 13th, 2022. I'm going to request the City Clerk to call the roll. Vice, uh, Mayor Weissman? Here. Vice Mayor Landman, was there a minute ago? I don't see her. Uh, there she is. I'll come back to her. Commissioner Friedland? Present. Commissioner Joel? Here. Commissioner Dr. Marks? Here. Commissioner Narosky? Present. Commissioner Shelley? Here. Vice Mayor Landman? Here. Mr. Pegues and Mr. Myers, Here. you have a quorum. Thank you so much. Can we all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Mm -hmm. I can't even stand up. I'm going to request the city clerk to read the first ordinance, item 3A. An ordinance of the city of Aventura, Florida, establishing and adopting the city of Aventura ad valorem tax operating millage levy rate at 1.7261 mills per thousand dollars of taxable assessed property value, which is a percent change of rollback rate of 1.5758 mills is 9.54% above the rollback rate computed pursuant to state law for the 2022 tax year providing for conflicts, providing for severability, and providing for an effective date. Can I ask for a person for approve, make a motion for approval of the item made by Commissioner Joel, seconded by Commissioner Narotsky. In one second, I'm going to request Mr. Pekis to review the item. I first want to thank Melissa Cruz for the incredible amount of work you put into all of our budget items. Fabulous work, and we thank you very much. Mr. Pekis. Thank you, Mayor. Um, what's before you is adopting a, our ordinance, adopting the millage rate of 1.7261 mills. I'm happy to report that this is the 27th year of the same millage rate that we've had here in the city of Aventura, keeping it the same. Um, this will generate an, a, a $18,641,832 in ad valorem taxes based on an assessed value in the city of over 11 billion. So 11 billion, 368 million, 391,539 dollars of assessed values. So. Okay, it's second reading, so I'll see if the commission has any questions. There are none. I don't see any public in the audience, so I'm not opening or closing it to public com comment. If Mr. Attorney says I can go on with that. You can go on. Thank you so much. I'm going to ask the city clerk for a roll call vote. Commissioner Friedland? Yes. Commissioner Joel? Yes. Commissioner Dr. Marks? Yes. Commissioner Narotsky? Yes. Commissioner Shelley? Yes. Vice Mayor Landman? Yes. Mayor Weissman? Yes. The motion passes. Thank you so much. I'm now going to request that the city clerk read the next ordinance, item 3B. An ordinance of the City of Aventura, Florida, adopting the attached tentative operating and capital budget as reviewed and approved by the City Commission at the review meeting held on July 21, 2022. As the City of Aventura final budget for the 2022-2023 fiscal year, pursuant to section 4.05 of the City Charter, authorizing expenditure of funds established by the budget, providing for budgetary control, providing for personnel authorization, providing for gifts and grants, providing for amendments, providing for procedures regarding encumbrances, and the reappropriation of unexpended capital appropriations, establishing the committed fund balance for capital reserve, providing for severability, and providing for an effective date. Can I have a motion for approval of the ordinance made by Commissioner Shelley, seconded by Commissioner Joel? Um, I'm going to request Mr. Bikis review this item. Thank you, Mayor. We're happy to present a balanced budget this year. Um, finally, uh, after a couple of years of flat property tax um, increases, we are happy to report a, an increase of total property values of 8.77%, which has generated an additional $1.5 million of revenue into the budget. And what we were able to do this year because of um, some past projects, we were able to get a lot of them out of the way. We were able to present a, a balanced budget and continue on with the level of service that everybody here comes to expect in the city of Aventura. Um, we have, first of all, for we can since COVID has ended, um, our revenue in our parks and enrollments and programs has been the highest that it's ever been. 
And I'm happy to report that the revenue that's generating, people are coming back out, they're enjoying our programs that we have. Um, as you all know, we spoke before or earlier today about our police department, public safety is one of the uh, benchmarks of this community. And um, we are definitely funding that for technology, the best equipment. We've also um, put here in the budget with the police services contract that we're negotiating, that we're very close to finalizing. So this is included in the budget, what we anticipate paying the police officers here. Um, personal services, um, there was a slight increase. We did um, um, add a couple of positions to the, uh, the budget as discussed before, the budget manager, um, our communications, and uh, my position. And in our landscaping and improvements throughout the city, we're able to maintain um, all of the same landscaping re uh, requirements that we've had without um, doing an increase in there and also uh, funding for the transportation services and um, circulator bus systems that we have. So maintaining all the same level of services here and maintaining a, um, a balanced budget. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Let me ask if any members of the commission have any questions or comments. Okay, um, seeing as there's no members of the community, I'm not gonna open or close the item. And I'm going to ask the city clerk for a roll call vote. Commissioner Friedland. Yes. Commissioner Joel. Yes. Commissioner Dr. Marks. Yes. Commissioner yes. Narotsky. Yes. Commissioner Shelley. Yes. Vice Mayor Landman. Yes. And Mayor Lastman. Yes. The motion passes. Thank you so much. May I have a motion to adjourn? <laughs> we have a motion made and seconded. Um, anyone opposed? Motion, uh, meetings adjourned. <laughs>